The Salesian charism is relatively new in the history of the church. And it's not surprising, therefore, that it's still developing. It's as if Don Bosco left us a treasure chest, and we've still to get to the bottom of it. We've still to unpack some of those treasures for the world around us. And one of the things I'm more and more sure of is that the unpacking process has to be done now with a much stronger lay presence, a much stronger reflection on what it means to be a lay Salesian. So let's take a very basic thing about Salesian spirituality, which is home, school, playground and church. And let's unpack that in terms of the way that we see ourselves, to use it as a focus on the way we look at our own inner spirit. So let's start with home and ask the question, are we at home with ourselves? Am I at home with myself? Am I able to relax? Am I able to be still? Or am I drawn into anxiety about the future or tensions or shadows about the past? Can I really be at home with who I am right now? The second one is learning, school. Am I committed to growing through learning, through reflection on my life, through listening to others, through hearing that deeper spirit that draws me along on this journey, learning about myself, about the mystery of who I am? Or am I quite content to accept other people's definitions or the definition I had of myself when I was a youngster? Am I always moving on? Am I a work in progress? Or am I stuck? So that's school. Am I committed to learning more and more about the way my life is unfolding? And then, moving on again, the genius of Don Bosco to put playground at the centre of his spirituality. Can I relax? Can I be at play? That's a really important question. When we play, we are almost out of time. We become what we're doing. We take on the task, whether that's knitting, a complicated pattern, or whether it's playing an intensive game of football, or maybe just watching a film. Can we be in the playground? And maybe after watching that film, somebody tells you that it was three hours long. And you say, that's not possible. It felt like half an hour. When we are in the playground, we get into a state that's called focus and flow. Athletes call it the zone, where you have just become what you are doing and you lose yourself in the activity. And the ability to lose yourself in the activity is a spiritual experience because you become one with creation, one with nature. If we can't do that, then somehow there's something missing in our spiritual life. And then finally, there's church the place where we sit and be still and reflect on the mystery of who we are. And we start to weave some of those stories from the past into the present and predict where we're going in the future. We weave that pattern and it's a mysterious pattern and sometimes the meanings don't emerge easily. And we have to trust that journey, that that road. So being still, being able to reflect, seeing that bigger, bigger picture allows us to be called into action through being at home with ourselves, through learning about our role and through being able to relax in God's creation. The church is the place where our vocation is formed and shaped for the future.
So, here in this home school playground and church, we have an inner pathway to spiritual health and balance, a hidden gift from Don Bosco to this new generation. <laughs>